Hello VS Code Day, I'm Anthony Shaw and I'm going to give you a tour of Python in VS Code. So for this talk, there's a couple of things you'll need. First of all, you need VS Code, so you can get this from code.visualstudio.com. Uh, the second thing you'll need once you've got Visual Studio Code downloaded is the Python extension and I'll also be using some features from the PyLance extension, which is uh, an optional add-on to the Python extension, but something that you should definitely consider uh, once you've installed. So once you open up VS Code, go to the extension panel on the left-hand side, and then here, from here, you can search for Python. The Python extension will be right at the top, and then search for the PyLance extension and click and install that extension as well. Once you've got those two extensions installed, you'll also need a copy of Python on your local computer. One of the first things you'll need to do when you open up an existing project uh, or start a new project in Python and you want to work with the Python extension is to tell the extension which Python interpreter to use. Uh, you can do this from the command palette if you search for interpreter and you'll see the Python select interpreter command. As with all Python projects, you should create a virtual environment first and install your requirements into that virtual environment. And there are some resources I can share on how you would do that. When you're working with imported modules, types, classes, functions, anything in Python, the Python extension is going to give you a lot of information as you're coding. And you'll see that as I'm typing, the Python extension is giving me suggestions about functions, attributes, or types that belong in that namespace. There's a couple of things you can do to make navigation a lot easier uh, inside your code base. For example, in this views file, I'm working on some specific classes. Uh, if I hover over those, I can see just the, uh, the doc string, so the information that's been provided by the Django project about what that class is. If I hold down on my either the Alt key on Windows and Linux um, or the Mac key on Mac OS, if I hover over that class, you'll also get both the doc string and the class information so I can see a bit more uh, context about what's happening with that class. You can also use that to then click on the class and it will navigate to that from either the package that you're using or from your own code. You can also right click on a function, a method or a class or even a variable that you define in your Python code and do find all references and it will navigate through your code base and find where you've included that function where you've called that function um, and you can use that as a shortcut to then navigate and find different areas where it's being used. Something else that you get from VS Code is an integrated terminal. So from the terminal menu if you open up a new terminal if you have the Python extension installed it will automatically activate the virtual environment when you open up any additional terminals. Now you can run Python code from the terminal as you would do in any environment uh, but to get the full debugger capabilities, you're going to want to configure a launch profile. So if you go to the run and debug button on the left hand side in VS Code, then click run and debug, you're going to get a wizard to help you navigate through what it is that you want to debug. In my case, I'm working on a Django app, but there are configurations of Fast API, Flask and Pyramid. If you're working on a standalone Python script, then pick the Python file option, or if you're working on an installable module, uh, you can pick the module option. If you select Django, it's going to know automatically uh, what commands to run inside the virtual environment. Once you've launched your project inside the debugger, you'll get access to the full debugger setup. This includes both being able to configure specific breakpoints in your code, navigating variables, information, and then also in the debug console, uh, you can type anything that you would normally add a REPL. So if you wanted to get information about specific types, in a breakpoint um, or you wanted to force a breakpoint or catch any uncaught exception and then handle that directly in the editor, you can do that using this navigation. So that's my quick tour of the Python extension for VS Code and what you can do both coding, navigating, debugging and testing Python code inside the Python extension. So to recap everything we've gone through, you'll need VS Code, you'll need a copy of Python installed on your local machine and you'll need both the Python extension for VS Code and the PyLance extension for VS Code. Every time you open up a project, you'll need to make sure that you select the interpreter. That information does get saved, so if you reopen the same project, it will remember which interpreter you used. Thanks for attending VS Code Day. I'm Anthony Shaw, and if you have any questions, please give me a shout.
Thank you.